G'day ladies and gentlemen, I recently saw a video from the great man, more plates, more delts. She tried to expose him for being a pervert and it blew up in her face. I found this video very interesting because in it, Derek from More Plates, More Dates, he goes into detail about a dude being called out at a gym by a lady who's filming herself at that gym. And this dude was apparently glancing over and perving at her and being a big creep. And I have been noticing these videos quite a bit lately, particularly on apps like TikTok, who really love to showcase dudes being creeps. Now, I'm sure all of the ladies watching this can absolutely relate to dudes being creepy at the gym. It happens. Sorry ladies, some dudes are fucking creepy. But I really think sometimes it's called out for no reason and those dudes are the ones that more plates, more dates and myself are talking about. These guys might just glance or whatever they're doing and just sort of slightly look and then they're called out, they're cancelled, slandered, all this type of stuff on social media. People go for them, contact their wife and all this type of shit. And I don't think it's really fair. Because a lot of the time, nothing actually happens. Let's have a look at the video that Derek was talking about. Okay, the start of the video was cut off, but it's that weird TikTok voice that says, Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert. When I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Okay. We're seven seconds in thus far and she's filming herself in the gym and that's absolutely fine, not a worry in the world. Later in the video I'm going to talk about something that she's doing in this video that people need to fucking stop, but we'll get to that later in the video. Anyway, right now she takes her top off, she's wearing a sports bra and shorts, which is fine. Wear whatever you want, you go girlfriend, grow your bushy underarms, do everything. It's wonderful 2022. Go Joe Bod! <laughs> Point being, you're not hurting anyone, you do you. Oh my god. Oh my god, slow-mo mode. What's he gonna do? Oh, damn! Okay, interesting. Interesting. So not only has she gone into slow-mo mode, but she's zoomed in and put captions onto what she thinks he said. At this point, he said, oh damn, allegedly. It's not like he's she's zoomed in and he's got binoculars out and whips his cock out. But I guess at this speed, at that zoom in, it does look a bit creepy. But how about we play that at real time and see how creepy it looks? That is nothing. Nothing. This video was taken down on TikTok, but at that point had 267,000 likes, meaning 267,000 people at the very minimum, 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 looked at that and said, yes, we got him. We caught him on camera. We got the dog. Ladies and gentlemen, so we got him. But I'd like to suggest that it wasn't creepy at all. Now the whole, oh damn, bit of that video, where he allegedly turns around and goes, HOT DAMN! I don't really know if he did say that, like let's replay it, look at this, oh damn. Look at his lips, does it look like he's saying, oh damn? What about in fast motion, is there an oh damn there? He's not saying oh damn, he's saying six different other words, who knows what he's fucking saying. But this is where this video really goes to the next level, it kicks off, and the shit doesn't just hit the fan, it sprays everywhere. Have a look at the caption that she put on this video. Good thing daddy set the bar real high and raised me to never take any disrespect. Disrespect, you may ask? What disrespect? I guess if you slow down the video even more when he turns around, you can really see what he is allegedly saying. Okay, let's slow it down right there. Oh damn, look at that piece of ass. I wouldn't mind her swatting on my open mouth, allegedly. What a creep. Let's keep playing the video. Do you need something? Do you need something? Do you need something? Look at how confused he is. He's like, what are you talking about, lady? Do I need something? You're talking to me. Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. That This is every guy's worst nightmare at the gym. Even if he did have a sneaky look, he's been called out on it. That terrifies dudes in their sleep because they don't want to be called out on that shit. But we don't know anything about this man. He could be a gay man. He could be a very gay man, happy pride month. He could be very gay and he's looking at this lady going, oh, that's disgusting, look at that. 
But I will say this, this young lady doesn't want attention of any sort at the gym. I may be a loner, but y'all hang out with people that talk shit about y'all. <laughs> You're literally shaking your ass at a camera in a busy gym. What do you think's gonna happen? I'll tell you what's gonna happen, and maybe this isn't a popular opinion, but if you wear booty shorts to the gym, people are gonna look at your ass. Is that not why you wear shorts that are halfway up your bunghole? Thoroughly inside your dirt box? Right inside your big fucking juicy kumquat? Up your ass is what I'm saying. Don't you think people are gonna look, particularly dudes, Dudes will look at anything. Dudes don't give a fuck. People at the gym, not just men, people, women included, look at other people in the gym. Dudes look at dudes, look at dudes, look at girls, look at girls, look at girls, look at dudes, look at girls, all right? It's just how it works. Everyone is there to look hotter. So everyone's looking at each other to see who's the fucking hottest. It's just what happens. And a slight glance is fine. You don't want to be leered at. I imagine it's not really great to be leered at by dudes. I've never been leered at. I'm a six foot eight weird shaped comedian with childbearing hips. I'm not getting leered at, so I imagine it would not be nice. At the end of the day, people are gonna look at you, particularly if you wear not much at the gym. If you don't wanna get looked at, wear a fucking tracksuit, all right? That goes for guys and girls. Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep the pushing. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? Fuck. That is what I call chewed. She has some serious chewed. Oh, mate just works there and now she's carrying on like a fucking idiot, a fucking pork chop. I can call the police and have you trespass right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we're doing. So right now, I'm just going to take the stuff and then I'm coming. So at the end of the day, she loses a membership because she carried on like a fucking idiot. There you go. I was trespassed and my membership was revoked. I mean, if you're gonna carry on like a wanker, you're gonna get kicked out of gyms, regardless of your gender, and I think that's the right decision. But what's hilarious is she posted that thinking, I've got him. I'm gonna defeat the patriarchy. This dirty man looked at me and said, oh damn. You try to ruin someone's life by showing them pervert you slightly at the gym. You try to get them cancelled because they looked at you a little bit. Even if they didn't look at you, you try to get them cancelled. That's such a weird attitude. I really don't like this new trend of women trying to catch guys at the gym looking at their ass. All right? And I'll tell you why. Ladies, this is a question to you. Have you ever found a man at the gym attractive? Have you? Even slightly attractive. Have you? Have you? You have, have you? You sex offender! Sometimes it is a fucking weird scenario too. It's not just straight down the middle. I was doing a bit of incline bench the other day and this young girl, must have been 20 years old, walks in front of me in booty shorts and starts doing Romanian deadlifts. She's bending over in front of me. I can see full ass and lip action. What do I do? I get up and move because I'm a good guy, all right? But I could smell her asshole, ladies and gentlemen, and God damn it, it smelled like the patriarchy was making a comeback. I don't even know what that means, but point being, it made me feel uncomfortable, but if she was recording me, she would have seen me look straight in her derriere and I would have been the bad guy. All this stems from one group, men and women who film themselves at the gym. Now, I've got nothing wrong with people filming themselves at the gym. It is a weird thing to see a camera set up. You do look like a wanker, but hey, that's YouTube, right? That's Instagram. That's what people look like, wankers. But what I get this shits with is when people who are filming themselves at the gym complain online because someone's walked in front of the camera or someone's asked them a question or whatever it may be. You don't own the fucking gym. You're paying $20 a week like everyone else in your gym shark fucking outfit, you dumb c He fucking walked past you, you idiot. Believe in yourself. Even if you don't see the results right away. Keep showing. So this guy doing squats calls a girl a dumb bitch because she went past him to grab a weight. Fuck off, mate. Go and jam your balls in the fucking cupboard in your kitchen, you fucking flog. Watch the stare I get before my workout. I've been 
Yeah, let's drag him because he looked at you a second too long. It was a little bit too long. It was a bit more of a glance. It was a bit more of a leer. But who's to say he wasn't counting the weight on the bar or many other things? He could have been looking at the bar going, wow, that's really impressive. Well done. Or he could have been looking at your dirt box. Why shame him? Why send that out into the ether? Matt, what if his wife's traveling through fucking TikTok that night and sees that? Man, do you really need to do that? Does it really make you feel that good? At the gym when this happens, Walks right in front of camera. Too fucking bad, dickhead. It's not a recording studio. It's a fucking gym that you pay to go to like everyone else. Jam it up your ass, son. Are you kidding me? Again? Really? I have zero shame that I gave them dirty looks. You should have shame. What, what are you doing? You're squatting to take some ass pics and you got the shits because some dude walked in front of you. Fuck off. What up, <laughs> Yeah, once again, not your gym, you don't own it. Shut the fuck up. Let's go to the gym in Kentucky. What the fuck is wrong with people? All these people in this video are working hard. They're exercising. Good fucking on them. Fuck you. You're the fucking piece of shit. Anyway, I found all these videos on Joey Swole's TikTok. Go and check him out. He's a funny dude. When you try to capture the glute pump, but instead you capture an unwarranted stare from a male who probably has a daughter your age. He wasn't even looking at you, you goose. You are standing in front of the mirror, showing off your ass, and you're freaking out because you think someone looked at your ass. Ooh, here's my ass. No one look at it. Don't look at my ass. Whatever you do. I'm trying to show my ass on the camera, but I don't want to hit the ceiling. There's my ass. Don't look at it. Don't look at my ass. You're all fucked. Fuck the lot of you. Be a good motherfucker. Fuck you to the boon. Peace to the Middle East. Me dick stinks. Toodle over. Bye. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the video. Your support means absolutely everything. If you haven't subscribed, do it right now. You keep me dogs fed and I love you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, there's three new videos on this channel every week. And if you want more, you can head over to Little Buttsman, which is the second channel. Ladies and gentlemen, there is more. What about the podcast each and every week? It's available on Spotify and YouTube as well. And I'm also on tour right now around the country doing my show, Cancel Me Now. Stand-up comedy is back, ladies and gentlemen. And please, for Christ's sake, follow me on Instagram. I'm very lonely. Love ya. Bye.